What are you doing this morning, Exo Man? Well, I, you know, my morning routine is, it involves, among other things, dogs. <laughs> I love getting, that's a nice part of my morning is getting up and greeting the pups, you know? Yeah. And so this morning I'm, I'm running through the things on the internet, and one of those things is checking out all the beautiful, cute dogs on Instagram. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm reading some headlines and looking at some stories, and I find this story about a dog that was found adrift 135 miles from the shore of Thailand. What? Out on the ocean. Yeah, out on the water. Aww. In the Gulf, I guess. 135 miles. Dang. From shore, and they see her. Float, in a boat? Floating, swimming. Swimming in the water. What? And exhausted, they see her and they start calling over to the oil rig. And she makes her way over to this rig and gets on the uh, on the structure of the rig down below at the water line. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at this poor creature. And so, Aww, and so they rescue her, her and start feeding her. And all there, you see, 135 miles from Thailand. Wow. It says out in the ocean so who knows they, they don't know the history of this dog Aww, so it says she's so cute. Here, the brown aspen i guess it's called it that that type of dog is an aspen hides among the rusty bars on the oil rig after being found swimming 135 miles off the coast of thailand wow look at that oh my god and uh this it just it's heartbreaking but i'm so happy that what a they, cute baby they saved Aww. her and they welded the, the welders on on the rig welded together a special cage for her and they, they've had her for a couple of nights but this is a funny thing that struck me i'm reading all about her and here it says she looks out from the oil rig deck over the vast gulf of thailand the thailand sea that she was found swimming in well i don't know if you can see that with your camera but those are clearly testicles Oh no way! So this that's a that is not oh, a she. Oh, that's funny. And the whole story keeps referring to her. It's funny. It's a little bit of inaccurate reporting. Little guy, <laughs> which we are very accustomed to these days. Are yeah. We not? So well, our male dog wears a purple harness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's very regal. Yes, he is. Yeah. And we just we're such a dog family, you know. Mm -hmm. just, Mm. Kind of melt your heart, but I thought yeah. that was a very good story. I wonder so, what they named him. Uh, Rig. So, something female. <laughs> Luce, Lucy. <laughs> anyway, I thought people would appreciate that. Yeah. Keep keep your pups safe. Little sweet babies. Where's the little one? And this there one. He is. <coughs> this boy right here. Hi, bear. Got badly injured the other day um, I had him visiting the neighbor dog which was not recommended because the neighbor dog is he just doesn't like other dogs but we wanted to help him to have a friend and it didn't work out and he attacked Poe and bit his ear pretty bad and I was holding Poe and pulling Poe away to try to stop the fight you see his ears all ripped up and uh, I was trying to stop the fight and it's ripped on oh, top, but he's oh, so good now. It's like it never happened. Yeah. He's a tough boy. I've cleaned a bit of blood off the But in, in pulling him away, I allowed Rocky, the other dog, to kind of get at him because Poe couldn't advance. I was trying to pick him up and throw him over the fence. And he's so long and lanky, I couldn't get a good hold on him. So oh. I just I just swung him away from the other dog. And uh, <laughs> we separated him. See, he's now he's a fighter. Yep. Anyway, I wanted to share that heartwarming story with you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yay!